Okay, so we've created the dice shape. Now we are going to apply the details of the dice. If we come up to this uh, middle tool, it's called Saved Orientations. And if you click down and choose Standard Orientation, it will turn your object into an isometric view. Okay, so we're going to start on the top surface and this will be where we create the number one for the dice. So you left click to select the top and it should go dark green. And then we are going to choose sketch. We are going to come across to the circle tool. We're going to select the circle tool, center and point. And we're going to click in the center, left click and drag out a circle, left click to stop. And then we're going to dimension that diameter and we're going to set every hole to 20 millimeters. I'm now going to come across, I've completed a sketch and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to come across and choose Extrude. I'm going to use the mouse wheel to rotate and I'm going to push by selecting this point here, left click and push down into the model. You'll notice it goes to remove material now. And we're gonna go into the model by seven millimeters. So you double click the dimension, type in seven, press enter, and then press okay. And then I'm going to do standard orientation back to the top. Okay, so on a dice, uh, each number, um, the number on one side and the opposite side underneath will equal seven. So I'm going to rotate the model round to see this face and I'm going to select that face and I'm going to choose sketch. Now on this face, we are doing six. So I'm going to start again with the circle tool and I'm going to click and drag out a circle and I'm going to dimension that circle. I'm going to make the diameter 20 millimeters and I have two more dimensions here. These will help me um, to organize the location and they are going to be 25 and 25. Okay, I'm now going to draw my next circle underneath. Now, if you hover down over the, the first circle, it will create a uh, reference point where you know you're in line. I'm now going to left click and drag out a circle. Now pay attention because when this circle diameter becomes the same as the one above, the one above goes green to tell you it's the same. I'm now going to left click and I know that that is the same dimension. I'm now going to come down again. Now on this example, I'm going to deliberately make it bigger so that I can show you how you would dimension. So this time I would choose 20, uh, oops, sorry, 20 millimeters. And I have another dimension. I don't have a horizontal, I only have a vertical because I was in line. So I'm going to make this distance 25. So I've got three circles. Now I'm going to apply the center line by clicking and clicking on my center line, left click and left click again. I now have a center line. I'm going to use the select tool, which is here in the left hand corner. And I'm going to click and drag over my three circles. And then I'm going to find the mirror tool 
which is here. When I click mirror, I now have to reference the center line that it is going to mirror from. And if I click the center line, it will flip um, the three that I've drawn on that side over to the other side as a mirror image. I now can select OK. I'm now going to select Extrude. I'm now going to rotate using the mouse wheel. And I'm going to drag with the left click, left button held down into the model and then select seven millimeters and press enter and tick OK. I now have done the one and the six. I'm now going to reorientate my model so I am aware of what I'm looking at. So I've got a one and a six. Okay, so I'm now going to choose um, the left side. Okay, so um, well, no, I'll choose the right side of the model. Okay, the right side. And then um, on this one, this is going to be a four. And we're going to have a three on the other side. Choose this one. And I'm going to choose sketch. Okay, so this is four. So again, I'm going to do my circle tool somewhere in this quarter. Click and drag. Over to the dimension tool. I'm going to set the diameter at 20 millimeters and press enter. I'm going to select the location, the horizontal here as 25. Now here, my dimension is being taken from the base. So from the base to here would be 75. If you wanted to change that, you can left click left click again where you want to do your measurement from and then press the wheel and it will change the dimension uh, from a different uh, reference point again this is 25 and that will move that up i'm now going to choose the circle tool again and i'm going to draw one in this area but as you can see it is helping me with a reference point it's showing me if i click here i will be in line with the center of the circle above. So that's very helpful, I'm going to do that. Left click, I'm going to drag out. Now at the moment, this is not the same as above until it locks and it goes green. So I, as I want it the same, I'm going to just click because I can see the one above is green. That is the same diameter, but it is not in the right vertical location. So I need to adjust that to 25 again that should move down and now I have two and I want these two I want to replicate this in this part so I'm doing four again I am going to use the center line I'm going to click on my center and then left click again then I'm going to use the select tool I'm going to select those two circles and then I'm going to come up to the mirror tool. Once you've selected the mirror tool, in order to mirror the two drawings, the two sketches, you must click on the center line and they will go across. I have now. I've now finished my sketch. I can now click OK. I can now choose Extrude. They've come out of the model. Click in the mouse wheel down and rotating moving the mouse to rotate i can click here with a left mouse click and hold down and drag into the model and i'm going to set that distance here i can set it here at seven or i can set it here and once i press enter i have the four done and i then complete the process by ticking now this would be a good time to save because the model is grey, we have finished um, our instruction for that part, 
So I'm going to go File and Save. It will just update the save because I saved it earlier. I'm going to reorientate my model by going to Standard Orientation just to know where I am with this model. So I've just done the four. Now I want to do the three on the other side. So I'm going to use my mouse wheel to rotate to get to see that surface. And I'm going to hover over that surface and left click once to select it. I'm now choosing sketch. And this time we are doing three. Now you can see through where on the other side you can see the centers of the model. Now I'm going to introduce you to a new tool here called Project. Project allows you to project from another side of your model if a sketch has been drawn. Now as I want uh, three circles here, I'm going to hover over and you can see it selects any line that's been drawn on the other side. So this is useful. Now selecting half the circle from the other side, so I'm going to left click and select that, come up and left click and select that. That has projected that into my sketch now. I'm now going to come down and get this one, left click and left click. That is now in my sketch. And now I'm left to draw my own, my final one from the middle using the circle tool. I'm going to left click to start. And again, you can see it is referencing the radius of that circle. Um, so I'm going to click left click. And I've now got my three um, circles here. So now I'm going to choose OK, select OK. I've now completed that sketch. I'm going to come across to extrude. I'm going to use the mouse wheel to rotate. And then I'm going to click and drag down into the model. And here you can select um, and change it to seven, or you can do it in the depth um, menu here. So I'm going to choose seven and press enter. I've now completed that. It's orange, so it's waiting for me to tick OK. I've now done the three and the four and the six and the one. I'm now going to reorientate my model. OK, so we now have the five and the two to do. So the five is going to be on the front face. So I'm going to choose the front of the dice here. And then I'm going to choose sketch. OK. So here I don't have any reference points because there isn't a number, there isn't a drawing behind. So I'm going to start with my circle tool. Again, and I'm going to come to the middle, click once, drag out, click again to complete, and then click the dimension tool. I'm going to set that at 20 millimeters and press enter. OK, I now need four more around the side. I'm going to do one here and here. OK, so I'm going to choose the circle tool. I'm going to come into this quarter. I'm going to left click and drag out. It's going to match. You can see it's matching that diameter. So I'm going to click. I've now got to use the dimension tool to locate. Again, it's given me a dimension from the base, which I can work that out. Uh, from there, I want that to be 75 millimeters. 75, press enter, it will move up. And here, I want this to be 25 millimeters from the center of the dice. I'm now going to come across and choose the circle tool again. I'm going to come down here and again, Creo is very good at helping you reference. So as I come across with my mouse, it's telling me, do I want to be in line with it, which I do. So I'm going to start it. I'm going to deliberately start it a bit higher, but I'm going to click here and drag out until I know it's the same dimension there. OK, so it's referencing that circle. Um, left click. But now I need to dimension it into the correct location. So I've got to, I've, 
it's offering me some dimensions here. It is offering me this one, which is from the bottom to the center. So I want this circle to come down. So this is going to be 25 millimeters again, and it has come down. Okay, now I want two more circles on this side. I could draw them or I could um, use the mirror tool. So I'm going to create the center line. I'm going to cl left click on the center and then move my mouse and left click again. Created my center line. I'm now going to choose the select tool and I'm just going to select these two circles only. And then I'm going to come up to the mirror tool. Okay, and that's going to mirror the selected items. Um, and then I must select the center line that I want to mirror from. And that will bring across the other two. And that's created five holes. I'm now going to select OK. Come across to extrude. Rotate, pressing the mouse wheel in and move the mouse. I'm going to come up and select and drag with the left mouse clicked in and push down into the model and again select the depth to be seven millimeters tick OK I've now created five I now need to come across to the other side okay and opposite the five needs to be the two so I'm now going to do sketch Now, as you can see, I have reference points. I actually don't need to draw anything here now. I can use the project tool. So again, very useful tool in Creo. And click, and I'm going to just hover over to I references something from the other side. I'm going to left click once. I've projected half a circle. Left click again. I've projected the other half. I'm going to come across and choose the top of that circle and that circle. I've now projected two circles onto this sketch. I'm now going to choose OK. Come across to extrude. Mouse wheel clicked in and move the mouse to rotate. Click and drag down into the model and then set the depth to seven millimeters and tick OK.